okay hi uh, very good afternoon students now i hope all of you are ready with the ingredients that i have shared yesterday that you have a netbin framework uh, and you have installed my sql server my sql client on your computer as well as you have downloaded and configured uh, your netbin workspace with the uh, with uh, the library of mysql now if you look at this this is what is our form looks like yesterday we have done this so today we will be dealing with uh, data manipulation queries such as how we can work with select insert update and delete these three so where uh, select will uh, read the records read the table insert will insert a record into the uh, table the targeted table update will update the record delete will delete the record now in order to understand uh, understand our yesterday's assignment uh, yesterday's assignment where we have created a student enrollment form so this is our student enrollment form looks like so look at this so i have shared you around about the attributes that we are going to work so this rule role number is first attribute student name is the second attribute and student age is the third attribute and the action that we are going to uh, perform is save record the, now the intent behind writing this save record is to insert the record into the database so please try to understand here this is an html form which we have created in a jsp file now let us try to take a close look at how this form is getting created so now this is the code where you can see that the form is being created now the interesting thing which you need to understand here that using a form tag we have created a form the method of posting this data to the server is post the action which is going to perform when you, when you click on a save record that action is this will the, the time you click on the save record button which is the type of submit so this s dot slash yes data dot jsp is going to handle that data okay so we will be in need of this this is the form for uh, which will act as an interface where you push in the data values and um, at the server side this uh, s.data.jsp will handle that particular data now the interesting thing is that the tag which is required for creating all your input boxes such as this such as such as this oops such as this hmm, such as this roll number name and age for this what you need is this what you need is this so you have to go for input tag now interesting mechanism is here now input tag the type of the roll number is type of the roll number is text now though it is a number but the data which is coming from the user is of type text so and it is very easy to convert the text data into a numeric form for its uh, further calculation that we can do now the type of the data is text and uh, the control is being identified with the property called name so s role s name and s age right these th three are nothing but the variable to from which we are getting the data right and uh, the input type is submit here now once you look at this this gets created now if you look at the source of this you will find that the same source you have received here right so the form is being created method is post data dot jsp is going to handle all your data and the variable name is roll number s roll number s name and sh now let us look at how this data just uh, s dot data jsp works now look at here this is what is s dot jsp now i am going to give you the details of it now the time we open this s.jsp you will find that i have written some simple segment of code now the interesting point that i am going to tell you is this one okay the question is like how the html form text data is being uh, being fetched by the underlying handled jsp so this is being done by using request.get parameter you look please try to understand this that uh, 
uh, request.get parameter reads these variables. Say for example, s role, s name, and s age. These are the three variables of of your controls like this. Look at here. Here, you look at here, you'll find it. Right? See here. S see here. Role number, name, and age. These are what? These are the these are your variables. Role number, name, s name, and age. Now these are being read here. Look at here. These are rated here. So once we read this, we will show that data here. Hmm? So uh, the data which is being absorbed is being flushed out. Right. So this video will let you know about how to read the data of uh, how to read the data of the form and store it and represent it into here. So we can say that here. Praveen Yanavar. Look at here, I'm going to write the data. Praveen and us to my roll number. Sorry, roll number is say 1001. Right, so Praveen and Navar and age is say 42. So the time you click on this, you look at here, the output is this. See, we have read it into the variable and we have displayed this data here. Okay, so the question is now the question is clear. How the form is working, how the form is collecting data, and how the back in JSP is dealing with it. Now, the only question which is left is how it is being stored into the database. And this will this you are going to get into the next video. Thank you.